disorders of heart causes symptoms and treatment according to organon uh, today i am trying to tell in english so that uh, it may be beneficial to our uh, european guests who are watching online so nowadays the heart diseases are so frequent that we see in our daily practice and uh, fear about heart diseases is more frequent than the real disorder that is true with uh, every disease nowadays because diseases are being marketed that is the main reason why our system present system is creating a fear and then they will market the disorder that is how nowadays we can observe so our heart has many kind of uh, disorders uh, i will brief it there may be dyspnea dyspnea means difficulty in breathing angina means pain in heart chest region valvular diseases there are valves in heart which pumps the blood from one chamber to other chamber and a chamber to out of the heart for circulation there 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 may be disorder disorder of the septum of heart and the disorders pericarditis the our heart has two layers in between the layers sometimes there will be infection and uh, hypertension you may think hypertension is uh, circulatory cause which in turn causes heart problems and then there is blockage of heart arrhythmias arrhythmias means irregular in rhythm of the heart there is a rhythm in the heart equilibrium in pulsation it is called the pulsation of heart contraction expansion if there is any disorder in it in term it causes many problems so basically when we see in internet or in books in test books in colleges we get we conclude these as the real heart problems and then uh, the causes the general causes of heart which we study in books or in uh, colleges is hypertension first one because of hypertension for a prolonged period of time the there may be uh, the rhythmic disorder in the heart which in turn causes blockage or pressure in valve which is the valve may not close properly and then the mixture of blood causes some serious problems then high ldl cholesterol ldl means low density lipoprotein which is a component of blood when it becomes higher then it causes heart attack then diabetes diabetes causes it may damage any part of the body so it is also one of the causes for heart disorders smoking second hand smoking that means if we expose to smoke for a constant period of time then it it may be cause heart attack obesity overweight is one of the causes of heart attack and unhealthy diet so we have to maintain our dietary timing and dietary habits in proper way if we eat uh, unhealthy food then this also in term causes heart attack and physical inactivity and long uses of 
medicines this is very very important nowadays because generally when we see patients coming to us after using a long courses in allopathy so many allopathic drugs are there which may cause heart attack these are beta blockers generally these beta blockers uses in treating uh, hypertension after a prolonged use of a same drug causes heart attack so uh, when we take the case when patient comes to us then we ask him to use this bp tablet for a period of time not stopping abruptly and then we have to replace it with our homeopathic drug then slowly we have to tamper it because for a period of time for 4 or 5 or 10 years after using this uh, beta blockers the rhythm of the heart is disturbed because the blood pressure is not coming to normal rhythm by its own naturally unnaturally with chemicals we are putting the pressure under our uh, normal range so this pressure in turn causes the rhythmic disorders in heart which may cause myocardial infarction tachycardia glaucoma etc all this uh, thyroid diver uh, divertics generally we use these in uh, chronic renal complaints sometimes birth control pills in uh, some people after using birth com- uh, controlling pills they get this heart attacks antiviral drugs anti convulsion drugs the patients who are suffering with fits generally they are prescribed with these anti convulsive drugs after heavy dosage and uh, long period of time if they use these drugs it causes obesity it causes a slowed slowing of memory loss of feelings and laziness and also heart attack these are the side effects of anti convulsive drugs then retinoids to treat these uh, retinal conditions they prescribe uh, medicines then corticosteroids generally in psoriasis in treating the skin problem or treating any uncurable diseases like our brother discussed earlier in cancerous conditions in many others during corona we all saw all the cases which come to us they used strong steroids for a period of time even uh, smaller duration of using strong steroids will cause many problems like diabetes heart problems brain brain stroke etc then growth hormones all these uh, allopathic remedies if they are using for long period of time then we have to see how the prognosis of case is going on so the history comes to use at to our hand when we are treating a case if we uh, carefully see the prognosis of a given condition because first time when the patient comes when we are taking case they will give us all the reports we have to enter the reports but we have to uh, enquire why this condition came to that person actually because if at all he is a good person there is no problem in his routine and his behavior also good sometimes the people who are behaving very nicely to to the world maybe there may be pressure to them because of their position or their uh, uh, their uh, job with that they have to behave very kindly or uh, see because internally they feel some stress or anger or jealousy anything they cannot express all these conditions may cause the uh, disorder of rhythm 
that uh, master has explained, I will, uh, we will discuss the real causes which master has given us. So all this because uh, the stress levels are more nowadays. So all these stress levels will cause many diseases. So these are generally when we see, so the prognosis, after using these medicines for kidney or uh, for hypertension, slowly after some days they will develop edema of feet, puffiness of face and slowly they will get weakness. Because 10 years back he used to walk for a 10, 10 kilometers without any problem. So gradually this ability, stamina will come down gradually. Then slowly he cannot do even routine work. After a little bit of work they will feel stressed and strained. So the real cause of this stress is due to prolonged use of medicines. So slowly we have to tamper. If we notice this, the drugs are affecting the health. If we do not uh, remove the maintaining cause, it will be very difficult to uh, cure the existing condition. So, in causes, must have given in many places in his philosophy, in discussing uh, Patanjali Yoga Sutras in many, many other places, must has given why a person will uh, uh, come to a disordered state of his health. So, according to Master E.K., who quotes his words from ancient wisdom often, used to say that for every human being, at birth there is a rhythm in respiration. It is called Samaveda, he used to say, because the inspiration and expression is like a music when we observe babies who are healthy. Because nowadays, before... Uh, the pregnancy is also a very big market. So during pregnancy, even though the mother is healthy, the, nowadays they are prescribing the iron, calcium. If at all it is low, then they, if they give supplements, there is a meaning. But also in normal conditions, they forced, forces people to use this folic acid and uh, uh, the vitamin D, vitamin tablets and everything. Because of this unusual, because in Arganan, Hanuman has said in every medicine will produce its own disease. So if we give multiple uh, medicines during pregnancy, every drug we are giving, it produces its own aura of symptoms. So if there are many unsimilar diseases, dissimilar diseases, then it is very difficult because it complicates the case. We cannot understand the case. So after using such a drugs, the birth, in birth, so today we are seeing many, many ADHD conditions and uh, mental retardation and congenital problems. After birth, there are, uh, there is jaundice because uh, they will give in 90% of cases in our country, they are preferring caesarean section, doctors. Or they will sell any condition because first, first delivery is uh, uh, due to, uh, we performed uh, delivery with caesarean section and so it, normal delivery is not possible. Second delivery also we have to do caesarean section, this is wrong. Because my sister, the elder daughter of EVM Acharya, her uh, first pregnancy was uh, by caesarean section because of low birth weight of kid, uh, because of that acute conditions we have to perform it. But the second delivery was happened in London because they are staying uh, there. They, even though the first pregnancy, first delivery is by caesarean section, they have waited for almost 16 to 17 days after the given estimated date of delivery and even though the am amniotic fluid is a little bit lower than normal, they did not did the surgery, only the delivery has happened by normal delivery. So then we have to realize that in, in cases we have to wait until because there are natural forces which help 
the natural birth of the baby. So we have to take into consideration, we have to give time to body to adjust to accustom that condition and uh, follow the natural process and then there is natural adjustments in during pregnancy because even though there is a transverse gate in many cases we have seen just a dose of medicine then at birth there will be a, uh, the fetus goes into normal position just before the delivery and then there will be normal delivery because they will not wait until the end because every pregnancy is not necessarily a caesarean case. So at birth when we see this rhythm is there in children. There is an equilibrium in inspiration and expiration. And whenever there is a disturbance in this, we lead to disorder in health, healthy being of a person. That is what Master has given us. So the disturbance may caused either by mental or physical or behavioral disturbances of human beings. So, the mental, physical and behavioral three causes he has given. So, the mental disturbances includes anxiety, fear, jealousy, anger, untimely sexual thoughts. This is also because it is not time but our, the, in mind they are going on thinking about uh, these thoughts untimely, then it also causes the disturbance in the rhythm of our respiration. Brooding, brooding over past incidents, sad incidents, sadness, melancholy, depression, all these conditions will disturbance the rhythm of respiration, if you observe. Because when a person is weeping or in deep depression, when we see his respiration, it is not normal. So, whenever there is this irrhythmia in the breathing, in turn it causes ill health. So, physical disturbances include overexertion. It may be due to, uh, due to his own rules or with condition because of strengthening his uh, work, work hours without proper monitoring or without uh, giving rest to the body, overeating. This is my master given many examples. After finishing a lunch, if his friend comes, then for a company's sake, he will eat again. So this is only possible to human being that he is saying. So overeating, over usage of medicines, which we have discussed now. Even though over usage of medicine, not only in allopathy, in homeopathy, in Ayurveda, in any other system, Unnecessarily, if we use any drug, it is a poison. That is what we have to remember. Only when it is necessary, you have to give medicine. If it is not at all necessary to give a medicine, then no need of giving everyday medicine. So, then you may ask, in our dispensaries, we are giving daily dose of medicine. And how come you say that, uh, now you are saying that you do not, you should not give, if at all it is not necessary. Because we are mostly giving in our dispensaries, daily medicine we are giving for only in this position. That is we have to just because of many people who are coming to us nowadays, many people are in uh, software. So their uh, sleeping pattern, working pattern and everything is disordered. And so daily they will get this anxiety or stress because of this disposition without loss of sleep etc. So then we have to give a medication, just if we give medication for this disposition it is enough. Disposition it is only enough if we will give uh, any 6x or alpha alpha mother tincture that master has given prescribed many times. Alpha alpha will never disturb a given remedy, only it gives little bit strength or lecithin or any uh, tissue salts like that. Then loss of sleep. These are some physical disorder, physical disturbances. Because we do these physical disturbances, if bus is going, we have to be ready a half an hour before our scheduled time, then we can reach the bus in, in time. 
in last moment when we get ready if the bus is missing if we rush to catch the bus then the rhythm of our respiration is disturbed if it repeats for many days then definitely there will be derangement in our health that we have to see then behavioral disturbances these are conditions which humans only deviate because naturally in all other animals it is natural they cannot deviate this their behavior they will behave according to the law of nature only man has the privilege to disbehave when it is the, he can he can only behave not according to the law of nature he can make his own laws and then the spelling varies from l a w s to l o s s if we do not follow l a w s then we will have l o s s in our health so this is untimely food because if we are engaged in a important work or somewhere then we are totally engaged absorbed in a good work it is only exception without it if we if we do not eat food timely because we are going to movie or every day we are uh, disturbing our routine and then every day we are eating whenever we need then there will be disturbance in digestion and other so forceful starch stoppage of natural calls everybody gets natural call if you, if they stop it for a prolonged time for a period of time then it it causes health derangement then competition if we feel competition with other persons in dispensary in dispensaries also we are coming for service and if we feel competition that oh many people are going to that doctor they are not coming to us then it also calls us ill health to us not to that doctor <laughs> so what uh, my brother said in the earlier we have to inculcate uh, good habits to our mind then automatically physically also we will get it so, so untimely sexual act fault finding nature so if we if others give any others did any fault then we recognize only that fault and we discuss it with many times because this fault we meditate upon it then we will behave in this faulty way so there should be avoided deception bad habits indulgences like smoking alcohol etc so these three three categories of causes master has given so with these three categories also any disorder will start generally these are due to mixture of above two mental and physical we have discussed by mixture of those two we behave adamantly because the basic cause is sora why sora enters into our constitution master has discussed earlier by all these above said conditions the rhythm of respiration and heart beat will be distorted and over a period of time there will lead into heart problems so these conditions generally they are not given in books only master had explained these causes so causes we only see for external causes why it is coming because of stress nowadays they are uh, included this stress in the causes also so these are some of the causes then the kinds of disorders we may get are coronary artery disease this is a damage or disorder in the heart heart's major blood vessels the blood vessels which are supplying to heart if there is any problem to that then the functioning of heart is distorted so this is called coronary heart disease then high blood pressure a condition in which the force of blood against the artery walls is too high this is called hypertension so this may cause us these uh, blood cells will adhere to the walls of the arteries and there there is clots formation in a period of time then cardiac arrest we know sudden unexpected loss of heart function breathing and consciousness this is called cardiac arrest this may be due to accidental 
because after accident any injury direct injury to heart may cause death because of this cardiac arrest and any stoppage when there is a big block in the blood flow when it comes and blocks the heart then the functioning of heart is stopped abruptly and when there is a uh, injury to head that also in turn the because uh, if the nerves which are uh, connecting the heart are damaged then there is a possibility of this cardiac arrest then congestive heart failure a chronic condition in which the heart does not pump blood as well as it should be the pumping of blood is varied generally when we do 2d echo heart many people will get diastolic dysfunction this is the this is the condition because the diastolic contractions are not proper then the blood is not transferring properly to the circulation in turn there will be numbness in the feet swelling of feet swelling of puffiness of face dyspnea etc systolic or diastolic there may be anything arrhythmia this is improper beating of heart whether irregular that is too fast or too slow anything is a problem then stroke damage of damage to the brain forms interruption in its blood supply congest uh, congenital heart disease so this is from the birth there is either septa or hole in the septum or any given conditions at birth there is a slow heart beat many times when we observe so these are congenital heart diseases functioning of heart is impaired since birth the basic cause of this is due to deeper miasmus to the parents then the uh, progeny will get automatically the disorders peripheral artery disease the in this condition yes, this is a circulatory condition narrowing of blood vessels due to blood flow this causes slow blood flow to the limbs which in turn causes numbness etc so these are the disorders of heart generally so we know the heart symptoms in general symptoms we have discussed then the treatment part when we come to the treatment part according to homeopathy we have to consider the present condition and the cause both are mostly important because present condition we know uh, by test because many patients come to us after a period of time after the treatment when they get heart attack generally they rush to the mnc and they go all that undergo all the tests and then they come to us so we get the general condition general physical uh, condition of the heart by these investigations and then slowly we have to slowly we have to enquire why this heart condition is uh, the patient is getting because in the past it may be due to depression or anxiety these two are main reasons in the present day because if boss says something he cannot uh, answer back so the the stress is slowly coming from the boss to the subordinates nowadays because this is mainly which i have observed in my uh, practice the sanjay they cannot say back any word or uh, they have to do their work with stress when anybody works stressfully then it causes definitely it may cause it may lead into heart attack then depression and remaining things are also cause heart attack 
like uh, jealousy, anger, because jealousy, anger, anger mostly it disorders the functioning of liver and digestion rather than heart. In turn, in secondary stage, it causes, it affects the heart. And mostly this jealousy, suspicion and deception. If these are the main underlying features of the case, generally they attack the urinary organs of the patients. Because if for a, for a period of time, if they have these conditions, generally the urinary system of the patient is affected. Then we have to understand because if they use many medicines previously, uh, repeatedly for this urinary tract infections and uh, etc. And with these medicines also and this condition also because there is portal system, there is damage in portal system from there the circulation is impaired. In return, it affects the heart. Generally when we see the key, chronic cases after uh, uh, when they come to us in critical condition, they have two conditions. One is kidney problem and heart problem. When they come to us, they will say, when we go to heart problem, heart doctor, they ask to stop the kidney medicines. When we go to kidney doctor, they stop, they ask us to stop the heart problem. What we have to do? Because these two medicines acts oppositely. One, one, one causes disease to the other organ. So we have to see, because uh, when we take the totality of symptoms, it is mixture of the symptoms of the patient and the symptoms of all these drugs. So we have to know the symptoms which these drugs produce for differentiation of the case because if we have to prescribe a medicine, we have to know the patient first. Without knowing the patient, if we prescribe for that condition, yes, there, there may be, because if there is no time, then we have to prescribe uh, the uh, case with the presenting symptoms. But when we have the time, when it is a chronic case, we have to investigate properly what are the real symptoms of the patient and what are the other symptoms due to his disposition, due to his stress. Then he is developing, then slowly the here we have to take into consideration the family history, past history because from family which, which are the myasons they are, they are descending we have to see. Then past history, what is his behavior? Past history generally we write only diseases. If he suffers from typhoid or if he get any malaria or jaundice, any chronic condition, if we get previously, that only we will not. If nothing is there, then we generally ignore the past history. But a good uh, homeopathic doctor, after, uh, because chronically when we are treating, repeatedly when we make a friendly approach to the patient with love, unconditional love, which our brother has explained, which we have to inculcate from masters, when we have this love and when we ask from heart, then we get the real causes. So at, at the first time, he may not communicate with us freely. And second prescription, third prescription, when we, when we meet the patient many times, then slowly we get the, his real past history. That means his previous jobs, his previous family conditions. So all these conditions, influences mentality, isn't it? So his mental behavior in turn causes disturbance in his well behavior, in his health, and it in turn causes the disease. The, so the disease is the ultimate, uh, uh, the ultimate, means the cause is many years back, the cause started, then slowly his behavior will change, then slowly his well-being is changed because Everything, when we see some patients, they have all the comforts, but still they are depressed. We do not know why they are depressed. Because family condition is also good. Everybody in the family is all, all right. He has all the comforts, car, AC, everything. And he has a good job. Still, he has some deficit. He does not know what it is. 
then we, when we enquire him previously, so in his childhood, he has sent to hostel. And when he has his roommates were arrogant and uh, psychotic basically, and they do all mischievous things uh, and they show cause when there is an inquiry, they put this man into the screen and they escapes. So he has to take the blame. So slowly after a few years, then they will get a diabetes or a heart problem, then we are treating his heart problem. Then we have to know this is the real cause and when we start as a staph sagria and everything, then they will be get rid of this heart blocks. So if we treat for the heart blocks, sometimes it is not enough. In acute condition, directly we have to give a remedy for the postponement of this critical condition. So in critical condition, to overcome it, we have to take the symptoms at hand. We have to take all the clinical conditions and pathological conditions and then we have to prescribe a remedy. So this is uh, what is the approach according to Hanman because this dissimilar diseases when existing in equal strength in a body for a period of time, each will take its own organ and uh, it will make, it will uh, announce its kingdom there and it shows its own symptoms. That's why all the organs are impaired when, when the patient goes to a doctor for hypertension, only first he starts for hypertension and slowly after a few times then he says that I am getting weakness then he will give uh, uh, multivitamin tablets for strength and once he starts multivitamin because the tablets has all the vitamins. What is deficit to him if he take it, it is okay. But what is sufficient if he takes more, then also it causes its own problems. If, it, uh, if he takes more of zinc, then he gets digestive troubles and kidney troubles. If he take more, uh, more of uh, vitamin D or calcium, then we, he will get in turn the carbuncles and swellings in many parts of the body and obstructions also, urinary uh, uh, stones or gall stones, etc. So, for that he will go again and then investigation they, they find there is a problem in kidney or gallbladder or somewhere, then he, they prescribe again another medicine. Then slowly they fully manifest into physical form because the, for example, gallbladder is totally distended and many stones are there, then there is no possibility to cure then he have to undergo surgery or they will get a cancer or their heart is impaired, the all walls are involved and it is very difficult for him even to take few steps, he will get dyspnea and then there is the, there, there will be a condition there where there is surgery is inevitable. So after surgery also we have to see for management of case because once any organ in our body is removed, even maybe it is appendix because nowadays doctors considered appendix as a waste product and it, they will take it off because they say there is no problem if we take it out. Still, if the totality, in our totality, if some organ is taken off, then we are not full. There, is, there will be a deficit in, definitely there will be its consequences on, upon our health. So all these conditions we have to see. So generally in critical conditions the remedies which uh, generally we know are digitalis, China, uh, Calmia, Adonis, Cactus. So because these symptoms, these, these remedies produce the symptoms which are more similar to the symptoms of heart problems. So in China, for example, he has weakness, weakness of pulse and he cannot wake up, he needs uh, air. So, and then he gets this uh, pain, the symptoms of heart. When 
when china we have to remember the time modality also in aggravation we should not give and we have to de- we have to see if he is using any um, drugs in allopathy for the cardiac uh, problems because many of the allopathic drugs which we use for cardiac problems are mixture of digitalis because these two are animals because we have to see recently we have a case it was uh, ended because of wrong use of china because he is a heart patient he has congenital heart problem since many years he is using allopathic medicine so it happened that he has the condition that china has to be prescribed then what we have to do we have to stop that uh, medicine uh, for a period of time temporarily and then we have to give an intercurrent remedy and then we have to give china then he will be saved if we directly give china to a patient who is using daily digitalis then we will cause we will become the cause for his death so these are we have to take into consideration so cactus there will be severe pain he cannot respirate he cannot move with this angina if angina is more than cactus we have we can give then uh, the cases one case came to our dispensary master evm acharya was treating that case so a 50 50 plus years man came to our dispensary with presenting symptoms of heart problem he has puffiness of face feet and difficulty in breathing while walking and even even change of position he is getting this weakness with sweats and in uh, uh, his medical history he has suffered with uh, malaria many times and in his family history also they have malarias and heart problems so his uh, physical condition is very weak then masha slowly first he started with acid fast after few few months he slowly tampered the allopathic drugs and only he has uh, pres- he asked him to use the drugs which do not have this digitalis in it and then he started with china china 30 at that condition acute condition he has given every third day china 30 third day Ah, yeah. yeah so uh, in advertisements we see many uh, uh, powders for uh, people for young people for children and for a uh, woman now we see many many things like how i will not take because this they mix it in uh, milk or hot water and they ask her to consume and they mix many items in it and they said they, they will get strength in that selenium is there if we use uh, the selenium more than what is needed in food because natural selenium is there in uh, our uh, leafy vegetables then they, these they does not harm the patient in that mixture but if we take it separately then they cause damage the health so when we ask uh, people to take every day they take and after some time they will develop this erythemias and impotence is also another cause which is caused by selenium so then every third day he used to give china 30 and uh, there was great improvement in the patient after that he could walk he could eat properly then uh, after one month then he make weekly once so he, it was their improvement was gradual and long standing then he used to give china 30 every two weekly and then monthly once then he has given china 201 dose 
and for one year there are no cardiac problems at all. And then he asked to stop the other medicines also in allopathy, only he has given Kratagas in the morning and Caliphos in the night. Then after one year, there was a death of, death of his father, then he developed the symptoms of cardiac problem. Then he has given Ignatia, then Stapsagria and again China. Then he enquired his past history. Then he, ha he got that he used to do a good job in government. Because of politics, he, he is very much depressed and he stopped. He, he has to give resignation forcefully to his job and come to other job, which is not sufficient to his family, the earning. So uh, after that, after that incident, after three years, he started this uh, heart problem. So after knowing that, he has noted it in the case and he has given Stapsagria 1 M1 dose. After that, he almost he lived for more than 35 years without heart problem. And uh, another case, which is congenital heart problem. So, a boy brought to us in our dispensary and he has uh, the swelling in the abdomen. He has swelling in the feet and abdomen because it started in the feet and slowly it increased to the abdomen. Then um, doctor said that he has a heart problem and uh, it should be operated because the parents felt fear to undergo operation for their children, they brought the case to us. Then uh, when I take the case, there is patients could not, could not express everything, there is no clear uh, case history. Then we have started Kratagas mother teacher only. Then after a few days, we came to know about his temperament. He is highly uh, irritable and highly dominating person even a boy, but he dictates everything to parents and his uh, sister. So depending upon it and the usage of, over usage of medicines, we have prescribed him Naxomica, which improved his uh, diet, which improved his uh, vitality and which, him, which reduced his dyspnea and also the puffiness of feet, the swellings are also uh, came down with Naxomica only. Then we have uh, kept on Naxomica for three months. Again, there is aggravation because he is very fond of food and uh, non-vegetarian. Whenever he consumes non-vegetarian, he gets these problems. So I strictly recommended her, his mother to do not give any non-vegetarian to him until he comes out of this condition. Then. For about one year, there is no problem. He used to go to school. His classes are fourth floor. He can he could climb with all the steps with his bag, heavy bag. There is there was no problem. Then suddenly there was aggravation. He went to a picnic and uh, for family function, and there he ate all the non-vegetarian. Then he got a very acute attack. Then he took to hospital directly because they are, they are at another uh, place. They, they did not call us. Then again the doctors scolded them. You are not taking proper uh, treatment. You have to undergo surgery and everything. Then after that, uh, after that attack, they brought again. When they came back to Visakhapatnam, they brought, they brought him to us. Then it is too worse because the face, eyes, everything is swollen. And when I see his pulse, it is very, very low, feeble. And then he could not walk, he could not take steps because of this dyspnea. So he is asking for air. Without air, he could not sit, sit for five minutes also without fanning. And he has very much bloating in the abdomen with all these symptoms. Instead of giving China, because he brought from that hospital, I have given carbovage. So it was very 
there was very much improvement to him with carbovage all the condition was slowly get to normal it took about two week, two weeks to three weeks and then i asked to stop the medicines then i have given sulfur wonders because of the chronic of uh, naxomica yeah, to his behavior because he had to stop eating forcefully if we do then it will cause to another <laughs> another problem of his health so after sulfur he was almost better for two two years then he was in 10th class then they met uh, their relatives who is unfortunately a cardiologist then uh, they came all the they uh, the parents came to me bringing all the test reports they asked this is the condition our relative is there he asked us to undergo surgery what to do and then because there is free will to everyone we cannot force them to remain at us and uh, to take i said the decision you have to take it if you if it is comfortable to you to take here it is no problem your your boy is much better from 6th class you are using to 10th class because they have given without operation he may die within 6 months that was that is what the diagnosis told but he is all right now it is your decision but unfortunately they took this boy to uh, allopathic treatment we do not know because still they did not came back so this is how because uh, in every condition we have to see because generally we use digitalis or china in heart condition it is not necessarily we have to give only the, those drugs only if we get the drug of the patient not the condition disease then we have to give the drug of the patient only it only take care of the patient and the given condition also this is what we have to learn from organ while prescribing a medicine because if we do a repertory we will get a handful of medicines generally what we do is in our college they will say you have to use a repertory and uh, with the scoring you have to give remedy okay that is okay but we have to see what we take from the patient or genuine or not the symptoms see master has quoted an example there is a mission when master went to europe so if we enter the data into the computer it will give all the incidents in your life printed on a paper then master said if we enter a by mistake a false data then the data is of nothing use if we if we do not know how to take the symptoms what symptoms we have to select for the treatment then any condition maybe because of uh, master sitting behind us we can get results but as a doctor as a genuine doctor who want to learn and help the people in true sense has to go through the philosophy and masters literature he will make the better doctor to help others so this is uh, the background of organon if we forget it and we only uh, base on materia medica and repertory then we will fail we do not we should not uh, forget the natural laws of cure we should not the forget the uh, the nature of treatment which is underlying in the organ and we should not forget that whoever come to us when we put the uh, the photo of master behind us and if we feel that he is looking after us every moment then we should not forget that whoever the person is coming to us he is sending him so that we can give our service we can be useful to someone that is the chance which is nature and master is giving to us because if we sit to serve if there is nobody to serve then what is purpose of sitting so somebody is coming to us it is opportunity is given to us so i wish every everyone will take that opportunity as it is given by the master and the every case you have to see as if master has come sit there 
and asking you for treatment then how carefully we see the person and treat the person in the same way we have to see every person so this is what master said to us so i hope the master who is present in all our hearts make us to serve in its true sense of humanity and help humanity thank you one and all vasudeva